Welcome back, Gizarmo getting back into the ring. And now Gizarmo focusing his attention on Ethan Locke, but no. Butcher, oh, Butcher tried to go for something. Ethan Locke with the reversal and a German suplex. And wait a minute, Gizarmo with the Cobra Clutch leg sweep. God knows how many times he's hit that. But no, oh, I think he was trying to... I think he was trying to go for the Bizarro Vision again, but Butcher stopped him. And wait a minute. Ethan Locke with the Falcon Arrow. Falcon Arrow on Ethan Locke. Falcon Arrow on Eric King. And wait a minute. King going for something here. And here comes the last participant of the match. Super Kenshi. And Kenshi. Kenshi's got a sledgehammer. Kenshi's got a. Oh, man. Oh, he just hit him into the. And I think he inadvertently broke up that pin trying to hit Butcher. Did not work. Float over DDT. Super Kenji's now in this match. And Ethan Locke with a Northern Light Suplex. Northern Light Suplex. And now Butcher has got him set up here. Butcher. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. What a brain buster. On oh, Ethan Locke. Oh. God, Gizarmo just hit him with a knee. And now, wait a minute. Oh, tried to go for something, but King hit him from behind. And now, throws King. Oh, he was trying to go for something, but King blocked him for even trying it. And now King's got him set up. And oh, what a back suplex. And Super Kenshi starts striking away at Eric King. And, oh, look at this. Oh. Ethan Locke tried to go for something. Did not work. And now Kenshi, oh, runs the ropes and hits him with a drop kick. Ethan Locke's got Butcher in the corner. No. Oh. Butcher tried to go for a drop kick, but no. And I think Kenji just hit those three elbow drops. And now Capoeira leg drop. Capoeira leg drop. Oh my god. Oh, oh, look at this. Butcher finally going after the injured shoulder. And I think Locke. Wait, Ethan Locke. Key to the city. Key to the city by Ethan Locke. And the, and the lock breaker on. In the lock breaker on Super Kenji. And again, Butcher breaks up the pin. He either got it out, float over DDT on Gizarmo by Ethan Locke. Ethan Locke's all over the damn place. And now, and now, I mean, this is so hard to call, ladies and gentlemen. This is so much crap going on. And now Super Kenji is getting a chair. Oh, my God. He just nailed. He just nailed Gizarmo in the head with the chair and, Kenshi, oh god, brain buster. And now tilt toward Huda Karana. Huda Karana, and oh, springboard cross body. Oh, springboard splash by Eric King. And wait a minute, King, oh. Kenshi broke that up. Not this time. Tigers, oh my god, on the chair. Holy shit. Good lord. Butcher just freaking Tiger suplexed Eric King on the chair. And now, oh, what a headbutt. And Butcher dropping that sledgehammer onto the outside here. Butcher has been using these weapons as of late. Wait a minute, one, two, no! Oh, Gizarro was close to being the champion. And now Butcher, remember, Butcher is still the champion. Backdrop suplex. Butcher is still champion. There's only one minute left. Oh, chair shot. Hey, wait a minute. He's got Ethan Locke. DDT on the chair. DDT on the chair. And oh, he just, he's just wailing away, hitting anybody he can with the chair. And oh. Oh, wait a minute. Float over DDT. And Ethan Locke's head was inches away from going in that chair. And wait a minute. Choke breaker. Cowboy leg drop. And now look at this bizarro vision. 
Capoeira leg drop bizarro vision combination hit simultaneously. And wait a minute, oh. Butcher tries to hit something. And now look at that. Oh! Ethan Locke breaks up. Butcher hitting Butcher's choice. But oh wait a minute, Kenji. Kenji's in trouble here. Locke, oh, Locke tried to go for King of the City. Kizono broke it up. Butcher's choice. Oh my god. Vicious power driver. A five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god! It's over! Mark Butcher! Mark Butcher! Mark Butcher! He is the new Battle Infinite Champion! Look at the highlights of this match though. This was the half this was the beginning here. And this this right here, this was this is what got Butcher to win this match here. He's hitting Gizama with the Butcher's choice. Got the pinfall. Everyone tried. They were trying to get that victory, but Butcher held on for 20 damn minutes. This was like the beginning of the end here. But I, I, look at this. He has him just to solidify it. He hits Butcher's choice on Super Kenji. He didn't have to do it, but he freaking did it anyway. Mark Butcher is your new Battle Infinite Champion. Look at Ethan Locke. He can't believe it. None of these none of these guys can believe it. Mark Butcher has held on for 20 minutes, and he is the new Battle Infinite Champion. Oh man, this is a monumental night for Battle Pro here. Mark Butcher, your new Battle Infinite Champion. Oh my god, folks. That was just, that was a really, that was just one hell of a match. My hat is off to all of those competitors, but a big congratulations to Mark Butcher for winning the Battle Infinite Championship. I mean, that, anybody could have been champion. They were fighting that hard. I honestly thought Gizarma was going to make it, but folks, we have to get set for our next matchup here. This is, this is... This is another matchup for the World Heavyweight Tournament. This is Side B Match 1 of the Battle World Heavyweight Tournament. As Johnny Metal makes his way towards, towards the ring on his Harley, no, no less. The Detroit, Michigan native. Metal is in his blood. Metal is, metal is in his heart. And he is just... Man, look, that's a sick-ass Harley, I gotta tell you. That's a sick-ass bike he's coming out on. Uh, an interesting story about Johnny Metal. Johnny Metal, just like Gizarmo, it was a former FWZ talent. He was on FWDC, and actually his first, he actually made his debut on the first episode of FWDC when he beat Hurricane and now, ever, I mean, ever since it's been taken down, FWZ that is, he's been out of a job. He's been spending most of his time in the Michigan, in the Michigan wrestling scene. And oh, here we go, Jeremy Barnett coming out. Jeremy Barnett, the last of the Barnetts in this tournament. Cody advanced, Brian advanced, but will Big Brother Jeremy advance? Jeremy Barnett, the oldest. Of the oldest out of his two siblings, Jeremy Barnett. He's got a big chance here to add another world title to his to his uh, notch, if you can say that. Touring Japan over the years, he, he, he likes to say he's the second biggest Texan to go to. The second biggest Texan to come to Japan and get big there since Stan Hansen. He wants to say that to himself. And now Jerry Barnett has a chance to be one of the first Battle World Heavyweight Champions. And this crowd, this crowd is buzzing right now. It's buzzing after that Infinite Championship matchup. And you know these two men are not going to disappoint as the bell rings and we get started. And all it is metal. Elbow to the back. 
Irish whip. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, already with the high impact move. Sky high. You call it the sky high. Now, wait a minute. Barnett with a sleeper hold. Metal reverses out of it. Hits him with a jawbreaker. Irish whip again. Oh, drops down. Oh, very nice. Very nice close line there. And now, oh, there's the flashback. Flashback by Johnny Metal. Johnny Metal's feeling it now. Oh, my God, what a chop. Just dropped Barnett. And now, Barnett, oh, punch. And now, shoulder charges. Those shoulder blocks by Jerry Barnett. Now, just strike it away at Metal. This is going to be a real interesting match. Jerry Barnett, he is a wrestler. Just a, he's just a hard-hitting country boy. That's all I got to say. And now look at this. Wait a minute. Iris Whip, Jerry Barnett. And oh, oh, he tried to go for something. But Metal reverses it into a nasty clothesline there. And these two still brawling it out. And now, wait a minute. Oh, he tried to go for a cross body, but Barnett reverses it into a Russian, I mean, to a German suplex and a belly to belly back suplex by Barnett, by Jeremy, and now reversal by Metal. And oh, wait a minute, back suplex with the bridge one, two, no, almost. I guess you could say that was almost close. And now Metal and Barnett. Johnny Metal and Jeremy Barnett firing out. Wait a minute. Look at this. Oh, man. Spring. Oh. Cross body block by Metal. And now Jeremy just chopping, it, chopping it, it. Hit the way. Look at this. Oh. Northern Light Suplex does not go for the pin or the bridge, so to say. And oh, what a nice drop kick by Johnny Metal. And now Metal. Working on the legs. Trying to wear Jeremy Barnett out. And now look at this. He's going to suplex him back inside. Back inside. And now, oh, look at this. I think Metal's telling people this is the end. This is the end here. Oh, 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 look at that. Jeremy hitting away. He goes outside the ring. And... Metal's just running the ropes here. Oh, drop kick. Drop kick by Metal. Suplex them back inside. Metal is trying to go for something. I don't know what. But now he is just punishing Barnett more with those elbows into the shoulder blades. Uh-oh. Oh, Metal. Metal's about to end it here. Wait. He calls this the rock out. The rock out. One, two, no. Only two. Oh man, that was almost that was almost the end for Jeremy, and he's just fighting like hell. And now Jeremy. Jeremy, look at this. Oh, try to go for it. It was like a butterfly lock. It was only a rope break, and now. Back again, striking. He's too tie up again. Jeremy wins that challenge again. And a scoop slam. And now Jeremy with a rear naked choke. Sleeper hole with a body scissors right there. And now, oh, doesn't doesn't not hold on to it. And now wait a minute. Oh, metal. Reversal. Oh man, what a clothesline. But Barnett fighting up. I just fighting. And now Jeremy. Uh oh, Jeremy. Look at this. Jeremy. Oh, man. Just, that was great. And oh, Metal escapes out. He knew what was going to happen next. Oh, wait a minute. Reversal. Oh, wait a minute. Barnett. Barnett. Lone Star Drop. The Lone Star Drop by Jeremy Barnett on the outside. Holy crap. Well, folks. We will be right back. Do not miss out the, the conclusion of Jeremy Barnett versus Johnny Metal. Oh, my God. German suplex 